Hey everyone, my name is Tyler Oakley and it's October. It's my favorite time of the year. I love Halloween so much. It's basically gay Christmas because we get to dress up and be slutty if we want to. So I have been working on something that I'm so excited to tell you guys about. It is not a trick, it is just a treat. All month long this month to celebrate Halloween, I am giving you Spooktober. That's right, Halloween videos all month long. We're doing spooky collabs, spooky surprises. You are not ready for the things that I have planned. So for today's video, I am bringing you four Halloween costumes that you can do in 2017, or if you're watching this years in the future, they might still be relevant, who knows? So without further ado, here are my four costumes for 2017. Okay, so for my first look, I had to be the iconic character of the year from Broadway, Dear Evan Hansen. I got the cast. If you see the show, you'll know why it says Connor. I got the shirt. This is the official shirt. And if you're looking for a prop, you can bring a box of tissues. When I saw it, I was sobbing the entire time. It's like that type of show. I have seen the show twice. I loved it both times. Ben Platt is a goddess among men. He is everything. I was blubbering, crying, and so was he on stage. He had like snot dripping down. Oh, that is a good accessory too. If you want to do like snot dripping down your face, very true to character. So if you need a Halloween costume, it's pretty easy. Broadway chic, Tony Award deserving, I would say. Go with your Evan Hansen. Okay, so for my next look, I this is very echoey in this hat thing. I think, I don't know what this character is. All I know is there's something about Handmaid's Tale. I've never seen the show. I don't know what it's about. I don't know anything about anything, but it seems like a look. Feels very topical. I feel like I see it on billboards, so bitch, I don't know. You can get this cape. I'm sure you can find it on the internet. <laughs> this store bought is fine, but you can also use a lampshade. I'm sure this feels like a lamp. <laughs> I like this outfit mostly because it shows as little skin as possible. And um, while every other gay on the block will be in panties and a thong and call it like a cop, a sexy cop, this is like <laughs> my version of a sexy um, something, whatever this is. I feel like this is like pilgrim realness. I am giving you <laughs> sexy pilgrim. What are these handmaids and what are their tails? Allegedly it won an Emmy. So I guess it's an outfit I can wear. Okay, so for my next look, clearly I am a Pamplemousse LaCroix <laughs> because why the fuck not? This is giving you cylindrical, every body type it looks okay on. It comes with a headpiece, which kind of fucks up the hair situation, but you know what? It's part of the look. Pamplemousse, which apparently is like French for grapefruit, is my favorite flavor. So this is the actual can, and I feel like I did a pretty damn good job. This looks identical, I'm sorry, but it looks really good. And if you wanna do like a group costume with you and all your girls, you can all be different flavors. Easy breezy. So even though this looks like a real tin can, I know, this is actually a hamper from the container store. You just get like a circular, you know, moment for your laundry, but really it can become uh, quite a beauty. Okay, so for my last look, I'm a grinder <laughs> I've always thought this would be a good costume, but like, how do you even go about making it? And so, this is it, y'all. I feel like the most me right now. So, uh, over here we got the closest person, which would be a mirror. So if you're at a party, that you, whoever you're looking at, it'd be them. It's like kind of like a, a participatory costume, if you will. I feel like I'm giving you mask for mask, looking not generous <laughs> prep safe fun only verse top bottom looking for a rim job realness five foot ten on the profile but five foot eight when she shows up at your front door foot play a plus into water sports sometimes if you're nasty around my age please and please have pics we got scott and mitch super fruit 
here for some group fun. <laughs> Down there we got Connor Franta giving you some millennial pink, if you know what I'm talking about. Ben J. Pierce down there looking for some daddies. <laughs> Cause Lord have mercy. Anybody he's dating is older than him probably. We got my favorite YouTube couple down there looking for a third. Daniel and Joey <laughs> on the prowl. And who is that discreet torso? I don't know whose body that is, but they must be hiding something. I'm kidding, nobody in this, I don't mean anything except this is a fun costume. I love all of you, good luck with your lives, bye. Okay, so those are some costumes that I might be, that you could be. Who knows? If you hate them, if you love them, let me know. Give this video a thumbs up. Also, I want to know what you're going to be for Halloween. Let me know in the comments below. And I have a special little surprise. I am actually going to be spending Halloween with some of you all. I will be in the UK for the event called Hello World. It is not your average YouTube convention. I've got so much planned. Here is who's coming. We got Zoe, Marcus, Elfie, Tom Daly. All my faves are going to be there. Hopefully you will be too. If you want to get tickets, the link to that is below. Hopefully we take some cute pictures. Also, I want to give a shout out to Michael who designed the intro animation for this spooktober. He also did the Chosen Family intro animation, which was also adorable. So thank you, Michael. I love you. If you want to check out his work, you can check his Instagram out below. Okay, so that's all I have for guests today. If you are excited for spooktober, give this video a thumbs up, and I cannot wait to see you starting on Tuesday. Okay, love you guys. Bye. I'm giving you <laughs> foot <laughs> looking for same. <laughs> Anything really. <laughs>